Hi everyone, and welcome back to Beverly Stunning Creations. Sorry that I've been MIA lately, but we are moving. So it's a really long and tedious process. So guys, please stay tuned. I'll be uploading more videos this month and a whole lot more videos next month. In today's DIY, I'll show you how to make these elegant and glamorous candle holders slash faces. This video will be part one of my 2019 wedding series. But guys, keep in mind you can use these for any occasion or for everyday decor. So if you like what you see and want to learn how, then please keep watching. Starting out, I'll glue these two Dollar Tree candle holders together. But before I glue them together, I'm going to try and level them out by continuously turning the top candle holder around until it levels out. Now remove the top candle holder, apply the glue, then put the candle holder back on top without changing the position. I'll repeat these steps with the second set of candle holders. I put my candle holders aside to dry. So now I'm going to take five rolls of my mirror towel and then attach it directly in the center of my fishbowl. Now press all the towels firmly against the glass. Now I'm going to take some of my bling wrap that I received from totallydazzled.com and I'm going to use two rolls to trim the bottom and the top of my mirror towel. I started out by adding some hot glue. Then I'm going to use some of my Gorilla Glue to attach it. You can also use the Dollar Tree Fix All for this particular part. I'll repeat these steps until it's completely wrapped around and then I'll do the bottom as well. Once you've completed those steps, your bowl should look like this. But I'm not done, I'm going to add some of this flower bling as well. And I'll be sure to leave a link in the description below to where you can pick some up online. And I'll also leave a link to where you can purchase this bling from totallydazzled.com. I already cut one row of the flower bling and when you cut it you'll notice those little threads so um, if they bother you then take a cigarette lighter and just burn them off and that's exactly what I'm doing here and it's really easy to do just quickly run the flame over the threads I'll be using some hot glue along with some Gorilla Glue to attach my flower bling to the bowl. Now I'll attach another row of flower bling to the bottom of the bowl by repeating those same steps. i also attach one row of bling at the bottom of the flowers and I'll repeat that at the top as well. And here is the completed bowl and I think it's really pretty. You could actually take some rhinestones and glue them in the center of the flowers if you want to make it a little bit more decorative. Now on to our smaller bowl and I'm going to start out by spray painting the inside and the outside with this silver spray paint. Now we're going to decorate this bowl pretty much the same way we did the first one minus the flowers. So this time I'm going to wrap three rows of the mirror towel around the center of the bowl. Now 
As you can see, I wrapped two rows of bling around the bottom of the mirror tail and then one single row of mirror tail. Now I'll repeat those same steps at the top of the mirror tail. Let me mention I did add one row of bling below the mirror tail and again I'll repeat those same steps at the top of the bowl. Once I was done decorating the smaller bowl, I glued it to the base using Gorilla Glue along with the hot glue. Spread the glue just inside the rim of the candle holder. Once you're done, add the bowl and then make sure it's level. At this point, I decided to make two different candle holders. One, I'll attach two candle holders on top. The other one, I'll attach one candle holder on top. Again, add glue just inside the rim of the candle holder. Place it on top of the bowl. Check it to make sure that it's level. Then put it aside to dry. A few hours later, and the attached candle holders are completely dry. I'll be gluing this face on top of the shorter candle holder later. I felt like the candle holders were a little bit plain so I decided to add some more bling wrap to them. As you can see I used about three rolls of the bling wrap, added some hot glue to it, wrapped it around, added more hot glue, and then cut off the excess. I added the bling to each neck of the candle holders. I added one row of the bling around the base of the candle holders as well. Now it's time to add the top onto the base of the candle holder. And again I'll be using my Gorilla Glue along with a little bit of the hot glue to glue it in place. Now this time you want to add the glue on top of the candle holder, not on the inside like before. Press it down firmly and then put it aside to dry. Now it's time to decorate this face. Starting out, I'll wrap two rolls of bling around the bottom of the vase. Just like before, I'll use a combination of the hot glue and Gorilla Glue. After that's done, I'll add three rolls of the mirror tiles. Make sure to press all the tiles in place and then add a second row of bling at the top of the mirror tile. After you're done, your vase should look like this. Now it's time to add some flower bling to the vase. I'll be using a strand with seven flowers and another strand with five flowers. I want to have a permanent hole, so again I'll be using the Gorilla Glue along with some hot glue. After you glue your first row down, you should have something that looks like this. My first row contains seven flowers. Now I'll glue on five, then I'll go on and glue seven, and then back to five until I've covered the perimeter of the vase. And here's the pattern that I'm using. Once you're done, your vase should look like this. Isn't that unique and beautiful? Now glue the vase to the candle holder. Here I'm just eyeballing the center before I add the glue to the candle holder. Again, I'll be using the Gorilla Glue along with a little bit of hot glue. 
Now set it aside to dry for a few hours. Now that all my pieces are bunded together, the bottom looked a little narrow and I felt like it needed to flare out more. And here I'm just showing you where you can use a bowl. And I've used this bowl in different DIYs. But this time I'm going to use the lid to this bowl. And I'm going to glue it to the base of the candle holder to give it the right balance. Here I'm just checking to see exactly where I need to add the glue. Add some Gorilla Glue to the bottom of your candle holder. Put it on top of the base. Check it for level and then let it dry. Once everything dried, I decided to add some flower bling to the base of the candle holder. And I also added some on the neck as well. Then added one row of bling around the bottom of the candle holder. Now on the second candle holder, I trimmed out the bottom the same way and added some flowers right around the neck. So now I'll clean the glass, come back and let you guys see what they look like. And here are my two completed candle holders slash faces. And I think they turned out absolutely gorgeous. I've decided that I'll add some rhinestones to the flowers at a later date because I want to add that extra bling. And I'll also be making one of each so I have two complete sets. Also, I've started a new Facebook page, so please come over and join me. I'll leave a link in the description down below. I'll be hosting some cash app and gift card giveaways there soon, so come on over. Okay, everyone, this completes my DIY. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you join my YouTube family. Alright guys, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.